Alrighty, there is Sal. Let's play this in full first. What you got? Chicken and chips and peas. Chips. Yummy. You're not getting any. We're only allowed chips once a week. Oh, come on. Three chips are a bellyful for me. All right, then. Go on. What you got? <laughs> All right. You mentioned that this is a character animation with lip sync with an animal. So I got a couple of comments, also a couple of questions, and you can you can let me know how you want to proceed with this. So first of all, it's a fairly long clip. And as we what go through, what I love is that you have the character down here. What you got? And then go up there in terms of interest. Once you're here, though, I do like that you go up and down, but right until the very end, go. which is cute because he's excited, he's fairly static and there's a lot of movement with kind of IK planted uh, feet there, paws. What if, before I get into any type of critique, I do want to throw out the idea of what if... What you got? Like pushing certain elements. Maybe because my dog does this thing where if I'm eating, let's pretend I'm taller and I have my my legs out like his his head is resting and he's all sad like why are you not giving me food his little nose and he's resting the th uh, on my thigh here what if we're pushing these elements where the the dog here is actually on the table it's probably not the best color here let me switch so imagine you got eyes here looking up darting down ears up but it's it's just resting on this then what you got chicken and chips and you can go up there. The, it's just adding a slight tweak to the pose. It's not that you can rest on it for that long. What you got? Chicken and chips and peas. Chips. Yummy. Or just listening to this, throwing it out there. Just because I want to make sure that I'll give you all the thoughts and then you can decide how you want to proceed. And if you want to, you know, however you want to do this. What if it could also be funny? Subjectively, obviously, right? If the head is on there, imagine the dog talks. It would just be resting the um uh what's it called the chin the jaw here on the table and he would talk with the with the the chin on there with the lower part of the jaw <clears throat> or the jaw and the head just goes up saying all of this what you got chicken so he's interested what he got going up and down darting what you got chicken and chips and peas and once he hears this he's chips chips that's when he goes what chips you? that's the moment for him to go oh i like this i'm going to jump on top of this so you have a maybe potentially at least to me a little bit more of a an interesting way of doing a lip sync or just like a, a funny way of talking that energy chips, and peas. chips is the thing that makes him go even though i do like this a lot i do like that he's down here and goes up there's nothing wrong with that just just throwing it out an idea yummy and then he can jump Yummy can do this. You're not getting any. And the only thing, it's pretend, but we're keeping all of this. Then it goes into this thing of we're fairly locked within all of this, despite liking what you're doing with the heights. You're not getting any. We're only allowed chips once a week. Oh. So this could be what if he goes on? He goes down, but maybe takes a couple steps back. So there's a bit more, instead of this up and down, there's also more left and right, where he might take a couple steps back you know hunched over head down like oh but what about me once a week oh come on and then oh come on that's when he takes maybe one step it's like come on he's inching closer again let me get closer three chips are a bellyful for me and that will be that 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 da, da, da. that's when he take, takes a couple steps and then one bigger step and then he can end up here again all right then go on and then you can do that and instead of just the little tipsy things it could just be at the end where maybe you know his legs are more in a triangle and he has a like a big puppy head tilt tilting over legs together just all like oh like super cute that could be just a moment to push there what you got chicken and for him watch out for the kid you got i'm turning down the volume a bit here you got like a very floaty arm watch out your timing feels like there's a key and there's a key here so either keep playing around with this maybe you potentially uh, a more appealing pose in terms of how the character holds the fork. You have to be careful. This feels more like um, like all the fingers have been curled and that's it versus giving this a bit more of an angle through that so you have a bit of a curvature for a nicer fist. But just generally speaking, there's the stuff where like eyes, he looks at the ears. There's the eye lines a bit off. Those eyes move a bit slowly. I would go more into darts. This could be with a half blink or a full blink. 
I think there's some technical things that we could address, but it, I want to more talk about broader ideas. So you can tell me where you want to go, how far you want to move things. Because again, the kit is mostly one spot. I like this a lot, but watch out then it feels like it's touching the dog. And it's not really. So, whoops, that's me moving the frame. So be careful how, how we have overlapping elements. So if I bring back the sound a bit. What you got? Chicken and chips and... So the thing is, he is very excited about this, right? So it could be... This is almost a bit too like, it's mine already. Pointy elbow out. You know what I mean, where we could do this depending on, you know, like I'm, I'm, I was raised, you know, you know, like arms on, on, um, on the table. You can eat like this, but I wouldn't do an elbow out. Some kids like in the US, a lot of kids or people eat with one arm on the, underneath the table and just like that. So you can have a bit of a lean in. Totally whatever you want to do. I'm just wondering, thinking out loud, if we save this for later. So you could do this, the American style, whatever, even if it's, it's a different accent, obviously, in the, in the English here. But you eat like this, and then when the dog comes up, chicken and chips and peas. That's when he will go a bit straighter, because he's, he's, he's explaining. The arm is still below the table. Chips, yummy. You're not getting it. He goes, whoa, whoa, you're not getting this. That's when he could start, maybe just, that's when he brings up the arm to do this. And when he goes back down, Weak. It's the opposite, like that would actually just be at the beginning. He will be in this pose here. Because it's almost like, or oh, maybe even that might be too on the nose and too big or like shielding the food. But just that would be a bit more of an angle, a bit more of an aggressive silhouette because of the, you know, the the threat of getting his food uh, eaten away. Oh, come on. Three chips are a bellyful for me. Oh. And then when he goes, all right, then you can take the elbow out into a pose like this and maybe... He leans away. He's like, all right, it's fine. Right then, go on. And then go on into this. Like, I do like this a lot. Right then, go on. That's, that's an interesting gesture. But so generally, I would say, what are your thoughts on like those type of changes of changing the poses and changing the leans? Because again, if you if you go through and scrub, he's fairly in that box. Yes, he has some leans. That's probably the biggest one, which I like a lot. And you can push that where... We can play a bit with against the chair, really against this with an elbow. Like, no, no, these are these are this, that's my food. Maybe with actually playing with this, including the dog going back and forth. Like I said, um, come on. From a technical point of view, again, I have some other notes. Like, if you look at the kid at this point, that head just kind of drifts down. The eyes are super swimmy. We cutting into the pupils a bit much. Like I said before, that hand pose here, more darts in the uh, darts as in sharper moves. Um, they're called cicades, cic cicades, everyone pronounce it. Um, cicades where you have, like the eye line would be changing in a different way. I would rotate the lids over so the eyelids are not the eyebrows in terms of the angry look. So for me, there's a lot more to change from a technical point of view, but I don't feel like I want to get into this right now in case you are willing or you're exploring different, you know, bigger post changes that will change the mechanics. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.